Hey, this is Mr. Barr, and this IXL deals with what? Complete a table and graph a linear function. Okay, so here we go. So if I'm over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this x value, and I'm going to plug it in right here for x. So what's 1 plus 1? Well, that's 2. And what's, right, I'm taking this 3. I'm putting it right here. What's 3 plus 1? Well, that's 4. And then what's 6 plus 1? That's 7. So I need to fill in the table with 2, 4, and 7. And then I have to come down here and plot those points and draw the line. Okay. So right here I'm going to put in a 2, a 4, and a 7. And now I'm going to come down and I'm going to plot those points also. Let's, see, let's put a point at, um, what was, oh, I can't see it now. So 1, 2, 1, 2 is right there. And 3, 4, 3, 4 is right there. So there's the line that goes with this table. Now we'll submit that. Keep it up, and let's do another one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 0 and plug it in right here. So 0 plus 6 is 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. 4, right here, 4 plus 6 is 10. So I have 6. 8 and 10 and then I need to come down and I need to plot those points so I'm plotting 0 comma 6 and 2 comma 8 and theoretically I'd also plot 4 comma 10 right there but I don't need to let's see if I got it right I did What I'm doing is I'm taking 0 and putting it right here for, five, or for x, right? So I'm taking this 0 and I'm putting it right there for that x. So 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 1 is 5. And 5 times 2 is 10. Plugging it in. So I have 0, 5, 10. Then I have to come down to the graph. and plot it. So I have 0, 0, and 1, 5. There's the graph. Plug in 1. So what's this? 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. 5 plus 2 is 7. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. So I filled in the table. Now I need to graph it. So 1 comma 3 is right here. And 5 comma 7 is right there. OK, this one's getting a little bit more complex. So I'm taking this 2. And I'm going to plug it in right there for the x. All right, so this is negative 2 times 2, which is negative 4, and plus 13. Negative 4 plus 13 equals 9. I do it again. I take that 3, and I put it right here. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, plus 13 equals 7. And again, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. There's a pattern forming here, right? Negative 8. This is probably going to be negative 10. And this is negative 12. Plus 13. Plus 13. Plus 13. This is 5, 3, and 1. So there's the table. 
Let's fill it in. 9, 7, 5, 3, 1. Now I need to go down and plot these points. So I have 2 comma 9, 2 comma 9 is right about there, and 3 comma 7, there it is. Okay, so this is negative 2 times 2, so I have negative 4 plus 12 equals something. I have negative 8 plus 12. I have negative, that's not right. It jumped in it. It's going up by 4, so it's negative 12 plus 12 negative 18 plus 12 and 10 times negative 2 is negative 20 plus 12. What do these equal? So this is 8, 4, 0, negative 6, and negative 8. Okay, let's get those in and then we'll graph it. 8, 4, 0, negative 18 plus 12, negative 6, And negative eight. I'm just double checking my work. And let's plot those. So, oh, okay, a little bit different type of graph here. That's fine though. Two eight, it's right there. And four four, it's right there. And six zero is right there. And nine negative six is right there. That looks good. Okay, so what's negative 5? Negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. Negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 7 minus 3 is 4. 8 minus 3 is 5. There are the points. Let's plot a couple of those. Let's do negative 5. 3, negative 6, negative 3, negative 6, and 2, negative 1, and let's just check other points like 8, 5, that comes in, 7, 4, looks good. Negative 2 times x, okay, so I'm doing negative 2 times negative 5 is 10, negative 3 times negative 2 is 6, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. There are the points. Let's plot some. So negative 5, 10. Negative 3, 6. 1, negative 2. 2, negative 4, that looks good, and 5, negative 10, looks good. Oh, look at this one. Okay, ready? This is a good one. Look up here. Notice there, there is no x. There's nothing up here. So there's no place to plug in the negative 7. So plug in negative 7. Negative 7, uh, what's y equal? y equals 9. Plug in a negative 1. And there's nowhere to plug it in, so what is y equal? y equals 9. Take a 6, plug it in. Well, there's nowhere to plug it in, so what is y equal? y equals 9. y equals 9, y equals 9, y equals 9. It doesn't change. y equals 9 no matter what the x is. All right, so negative 1, 9. 6. 9. y equals 9, no matter what. Okay. 
So this is negative 5 times negative 2, which is 10. Negative 5 times negative 1 is 5. 0 times negative 5 is 0. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. And 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Let's plot some of these. Well, let's do negative 1, 5, there's one of the points, and let's do 0, 0. Negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. 0 plus 3 is 3. And when I plot this, I'm going to check to make sure it makes a line. And if it doesn't, something's off. So let's go with negative 8, negative 5, which is right there. And then negative 6, negative 3. And then negative 2, 1. That looks good. And negative 1, 2. That looks good. And 0, 3. It looks good. Let's see if I can get up to 80. Let's see if it changes. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. 8 minus 5 is 3, and 10 minus 5 is 5. So I have a point at 0, negative 5, and a point at 8, 3, and 10, 5. Looks good. And my lights just went out. Ooh, man, I look weird right there. Okay. I get my lights to turn back on. Wow, I've been... Okay, this will be my last one. I've been doing this for like 14 minutes. Okay, this one. Let's do it. So what's negative 5? So here's my, my 10, my negative 10. What's negative 5 times negative 10? Negative 5 times negative 10 is 50 minus 45. Negative 9 times negative 5 is 45 minus 45. And negative 7 times negative 5 is 35 minus 45. So I have, what's this? 5, 0, and negative 10. Oh, I need to plug those in, don't I? 5, 0, negative 10. Okay, let me clear this. Negative 10, 5, negative 10, 5, negative 9, 0, negative 7, negative 10. That looks good. All right. Hey, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.